<laughs> I cannot start the first trick like, okay, we're gonna learn this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what up you guys? Welcome back to another one of these tutorials. Today we're gonna learn the five ball multiplex start. So this. Oh. Do it again. This one. Okay. So we're gonna start practicing this step by step and we're gonna start with three balls. So first we're gonna learn the three ball multiplex from one hand. This start. And the uh, idea of this, the first ball you get in the hand, that's gonna be the lowest ball. The second one is gonna be the second ball, so they apply like this. And the third one you're gonna put here is gonna be one, two, three, so that's gonna be the highest ball, okay? You're gonna throw like this. And uh, the alignment in your hand is you have the first two, no, sorry, the first one and the third one, they're in the same line. And the second ball is gonna be to the right that you hold with your thumb, okay? And with your index finger. So th this is gonna be the line, one, two, three. So if you look, you have one, two, three, okay? So they go like this, sort of like a zigzag pattern. So you throw these two in a line, perfect alignment like this, straight. Don't twist them anything like this, I hope you can see. And that's it. And you get them separate more, so you just have to flick with your wrist, okay? You throw high, and then you flick at the end to get them separate more. But the idea is, you, the first one you catch in the left hand, second one to the right, third one to the left. Like this, okay? Then we're gonna continue, we're gonna do a lot of, with three balls, we're gonna do different ones. So we're gonna do this. So you also get the first one to the left hand. So you get used to the throwing with the left hand as well. So the left hand just throws this. And with the right, you throw, oh, multiplex that the higher one is a crossing. Like this. And then you can add some height to it. You can throw higher and higher, okay? And the same with the, and try to get them more separated. And the same thing with this one, you can go a little bit more height. And then if you want, you can add pirouettes to it, something like this, okay? And the next one we're gonna learn is you throw two from the left hand that stay the same. So how you do that? You just turn a little bit. It's like holding the three balls, but you take the first one away. So then you have the two sideways like this and you throw them and they stay in the level, okay? So if you throw like this, the one will go high, the one will stay low. So you turn, so that will stay, okay? So then you throw with the right hand, you throw high, with the left hand, too low. And that's it. This is the start. So now, those are basically the ones that we're gonna need, but then we're gonna go with four balls. So with four balls first, just to get to warm up the idea of starting the pattern, we're gonna do, Starting at the fountain. So both hands throw this. You just have to choose which hand throws the lower one, which hand the higher one. Okay, so the, let's say first, the left hand is the lower one. You try this first. And the right hand is the higher one. You try that first. And then you throw together. Okay, and you don't have to start so high. You can start lower. And then the other way, the high, right hand is the lower one. Left hand is the higher one. Boom, like this. Okay, and then add some height. Ooh. And the other way, boom, 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 like this. And then we're gonna do the three ball multiplex. No, wait, sorry, this hand's first. So two and two. So the left hand throws two together in the same line, so it catches one on the left, one on the right. And the right hand is gonna throw this, but they separate, but the higher one goes across. Okay, I know I'm talking a lot, I'm talking fast, but you can always rewind and stop and look it again. So this we're gonna do first. Okay, you see? Left hand throws like this, and the right hand throws higher. That separates <laughs> the crossing pattern. And you start with the right hand. Okay, so that's it. And with this, one more that we throw. With right hand, you throw all the tree, like we did before. It lands left, right, left. And the left hand, you throw like a low tree that catches to the right hand. And then you're gonna start four balls juggling. So you get used to this. Okay. And then you can add a little bit more height to get ready for the five. Okay. In the five ball, it doesn't have to be that high, but we also wanna practice the height first. No, the height also, sorry. So first you do in a good height that you can try and then try to get it higher and higher 
and then with five balls. So the five balls you can start first if you want to do um, just a three and transfer the one. So with the left hand you just put one to the other hand. Okay, you do a three. Sorry. Three, switch, and just catch. So make sure that you go three. And then you can try to throw with the left hand. One throw. One five. Okay? And then you can start do two or even go into the pattern. Okay? And after that, it's a matter of just adding the left hand throws. Okay? But again, first you can do it just throw one throw with left. Okay? One throw from the left hand after this. And then you can draw left, right. And then you add one more throw. Three throws. Oh, three throws and a drop. <laughs> okay, and yeah, and then just practice. Continuing from it. Okay, so the left hand throws two at the same level, and the right hand throws left, right, left. And then just throw them. <laughs> and if you want, after this, you can start adding more height so you have more time. Oh, in between, sorry. So you can do a pirouette, and if you want to do like a two-stage pirouette, then you put the left hand and the right hand throw separate more. So you have some time between them. So you can add some pirouettes, double pirouettes, two-stage pirouettes, whatever you want. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope it helps. Again, I know I'm talking fast, I'm talking a lot, but watch it again. Yeah! <laughs> That's my friend Jimmy behind the camera. You cannot see, but he's there. Come say hi. Show off. <laughs> Ooh la la.